So welcome to the Prosperity webinar. The guy in the yellow uh, rectangle box there is me. And we're going to try to do this in one hour or less, which I know is unusual. But the tool I'm going to show you and the technique I'm going to show you is very simple. And it doesn't take long to explain and it doesn't take long to use the tool. But whether you buy Backlink Sniper or not, you're going to learn something today which you should be able to put to good use for yourself. So we're going to aim for a, a webinar under one hour. It depends how many questions you're going to give me, but essentially the technique I'm going to show you is pretty quick to explain. And the tool that I'm going to show you is pretty quick to uh, explain as well. But before we do any of that, I just want to cover some background information. Do backlinks still count? Because some people say they don't. Some people say Google and the search engines have these incredibly complex algorithms. To some extent, that may be true, but backlinks still count these days. If you want more web traffic and lots of people coming to your website, backlinks absolutely do still count. And the reason is that even Google themselves have said this. They look at links and link quality. We'll come back to quality in a moment. They look at links and link quality to determine how good your site may be. If you think of it this way, if a stranger recommends something to you, that will have less weight than somebody you already know and trust. So if we can get links from websites where their audience, their own existing website visitors, trust them and like them, then that link and recommendation in effect is going to count more to us and it's going to count more to Google and it's going to count more to site visitors simply because they already have an established audience. Now look, if you've got no links to your website, essentially, you know, you're kind of broken. How, how are going to people going to find your website? Well, the truth is they're probably not going to just um, turn up by accident. They've got to find you somehow. And links are still one of the ways that you do that. So if you want this web traffic, you have to have ways for people to find you. And of course, the more ways that people can find you, the better. Essentially, it's a bit like having a helping hand from people who already have an established audience. So how can you find these free backlinks? This is where we're going to talk about the technique now where you can actually do this yourself. So how can you free, uh, find free backlinks? Well, search in Google, <laughs> okay? It's that simple. I'll show you how. But we're gonna search in Google for a simple reason. And the reason is this. Google commands most of the search engine marketplace. Uh, and it's about 93%. That's why we're going to search in Google, because they own the search marketplace. And what we're going to do after we've searched in Google, we're going to look for certain types of websites. And then we're going to just put some content in those websites. You might make a comment on a post. You could offer a guest post. You can submit an article. Excuse me one second. Apologies, I just have to have a little drink of water there. So you might submit an article, you might even make a video for them. Essentially, what you're going to do is offer some kind of value to that website in exchange for the link back to you. Now, websites are always happy to take good quality articles, but we have to find the ones that are happy to do that. And so we're going to search them. So if it's easy, if it's really easy, the question is, why doesn't everybody do it? OK, well, it's time consuming, it takes a lot of time. Basically, if you want to do a lot of it, you've got to do a lot of searching. And that's fine, it's, it's simple enough to do, but it takes time uh, and then you've got to do additional research on, for example, trust factors of the website, how many referring domains uh, exist for that website and so on. Because what we're looking for is good quality websites. Do you remember I said about two or three minutes ago, Google looks at the links, but they also look at the quality of the links. Well, that's important. We don't want links from spammers, fairly obviously. We do want links from people who have a good quality website and who would also you know, have an existing audience. So the better that initial website, the bigger their audience is likely to be, the more traffic will likely get that way. And because of that, the better uh, linking um, benefit we get through Google. The, the linking juice, if you want to call it that way. Uh, Mark's saying, don't drink water. <laughs> maybe later, Mark, maybe later. Um, now, Simon's got a question, which is, is this usable for the German language? Honestly, Simon, I haven't tried it, but it should be localized for where you are. So if you're in Germany, the searches that occur there should be localized for Germany. 
So the next question is, what if it could be easy? What if it could be easy to do this? Well, let's have a look at how you do it manually, and then I'll show you an easy way to do it. So I'm going to go to Google, and I'm going to take some example niches. Okay, they're not real ones. They're not ones that I'm interested in. Um, it's just, just to show you the kind of thing you can do. So in the help video, which you'll see when you get Backlink Sniper, I do a, an example with fishing tackle. That will tell me websites that have those terms somewhere on their pages. So far, so good. But if we have a look at that, it's going to be a lot of websites, 135 million. Now, look, there's no way that 135 million websites will take content from me in exchange for a link. So uh, let me just go back to Google. In fact, I want to just go there and get rid of that silly image. Um, OK, so now what I'm going to do is put the same search, and I'm going to use a special search parameter. That's one of those fancy terms, you know, where we talk about things, and it just means I'm going to use a little bit extra in the search term here. Um, so for example, if I do this, it will find me websites that are to do with phishing tackle, where there's some kind of web page somewhere that says submit post. In other words, it looks like those websites uh, are going to accept some kind of guest posting from us. So I'm getting 32 results at the moment. That's not bad. If I could get 32 links, that would be pretty good. So this particular page, if I click on here, I can see that they have a page when it loads eventually where they will take guest posts. And they give me some details. It's got to be original. Um, I can't post it anywhere else. I've got to read this, by the way. So this is part of the manual thing that you would do yourself. Have a look at what their rules are. Seriously, if you're not looking at the rules, you might waste your time. Um, would they like some images? Images, great. Yes, they want minimum width of 800 pixels. Um, OK. Pretty good. So they will take submitted guest posts, but they've got to be good quality. Now, I'll talk about quality for a moment because what I said to you earlier is that we want links from quality websites. So let me ask you a rhetorical question. You know what the answer is going to be already, I think. But if this is a quality website, do you think they're going to take a ton of junk from you? No, they're not. So when you're looking to submit something to a website that has some kind of quality to it, you need to provide them some quality. Now, it could just be a comment on a blog post. It could be a full article. You know, there's a number of different things you can offer. But you can say just on this search here, we have 32 that we could potentially write to. And if we do a good job on each, I could get 32 high quality links. It's possible to get onto page one of Google with far fewer than 32 links if they're suitable. So, although it doesn't seem many, that's quite a lot. Now, if I take out this little bit on the search parameter and do the search again. I'm now getting about 1,870 results. So this one's for submitting a listing for clubs. This one's um, about some kind of content. Again, submit content, uh, submit a deal. OK, so uh, that's an interesting one. If I could work out a, a deal with a local um, fish tackle store, and say, look, I can get you traffic to your website, but I want some kind of affiliate um, earnings from you for doing that, then I might actually use that and submit the deal and funnel it through my website to that dealer, or even find a network of dealers so that I can uh, deal with various geographical regions. So that's an interesting one I hadn't thought about. Uh, submit a catch photo, submit an article, there we go. So you can see there's quite a bit more if we change the search parameter here. Essentially, that's the entire technique. That's the entire technique. So what you do is you do a search for your particular keyword, and that could be weight loss, it could be fishing tackle, it could be digital cameras, which is my particular hobby, uh, it could be skincare, whatever it may be. And then you put in this thing that we call search query parameters, and it will it will filter out the sites that are most likely to be willing to give you a link back to your website. Does that make sense so far? Once you've found them and you've read the page, so let's have a look, submit content on this one. This is a UK website. Mm, 20,000 visits a month. Okay. 
Now, if I wanted to, um, and I were doing this manually, I would do some more research to look at the trust factor for this particular website, uh, how many referring sites link back to it, because I want to see the quality. In essence, what I want to try to do is focus my time on the better quality potential links and then work my way down through the lower quality links until I hit the level that I'm, I'm wanting to stop at. So if we had, well, I think it was 1,870, wasn't it? Out of those 1,870, I really want to hit the best one first and the second best next and so on. But at the moment, I don't have that information. I'd have to go do some extra research. So although the technique is simple, it is time consuming. Uh, Mark's asking about ordinary links and high quality links. Okay, so let me let me explain that. And April, I'll come to your question in a second. A high quality link is from a website that is related to your niche. Doesn't have to be the exact niche. So April, that's in answer to your question. But it does have to be related. So fishing tackle. This is to do with buying equipment, right? But fish, fishermen who buy equipment want to know about, about techniques. They want to know the best place to go fishing. They want to know about the best place for carp, the best place for perch, the best place for sea bass or, or whatever it is their, their particular specific section of the hobby is. So as long as it's somewhat related, um, then that's that's fine. That's part one. The second part is, the quality comes from the quality of the website itself, and this is where it gets kind of uh, circular. The links that go to this website, if they're quality and related and relevant, then Google are likely to rate this website higher because they're doing the same thing as we're talking about already. They're getting links from other people in their niche. It's like a bunch of friends saying, yeah, we trust him, we like him, we recommend him to you. So you get this uh, kind of circular effect almost. And so if they're already in that space, then any other links that they give out tend to be viewed in the same way. So that you, you may know the phrase, birds of a feather flock together. So if you've got a ton of uh, criminals in a certain part, part of town, there may be places that people would tend to avoid because it's known as a bad area. If you go to the um, better parts of town, People may know that it's safe. You know, you get this uh, flocking effect where the good websites flock together, the bad sites tend to be, you know, in their own neighborhood and so on. So a normal link is just a link. That's any link that may not be directly relevant. It may not be from a high quality website that already has a reputation within Google. And this is why we'd need extra information from this stage to work out which of these websites I would choose first to spend my time with. Because if I'm gonna write an article that might take me an hour, I want the best benefit from that hour. So I wouldn't just go at the top here and start with um, 3ws.co.uk. I'd do the next section, which is researching things like uh, trust factors and number of links they've got and quality of links and so on. All that takes time. So essentially, that's the entire technique that you have to do. That's it. You're looking for opportunities to um, do comments, guest posts, articles, and so on. Let me just show you another one. So you could put in right, uh, and I've got to type this slowly because I'm still having trouble with my wrist. So I apologize if I'm slow today. You have to bear with me. And of course, you've got to remember what you're doing here. So if you type this wrong, you're gonna get bad results. So this is looking for websites with the keywords fishing tackle. So relevant to my example niche, where right for us is somewhere in the title of the page. And I've got 217 results. Outdoor gear world, right for us. Fisherman's tips, right for us. That sounds a good one. Fishing CT, right for us. Outdoor side, deep water fishery. Uh, ticks, tick, tricks to protect ice fishing gear. Hmm, okay. Well, they're right for us is still there, you see. But uh, oh, this is just when you go out on the ice to fish, isn't it? Right. Okay. Uh, Premier Angler, right, right for us. You get the point. What was it? 217. So in a couple of minutes, I found something in the region of 2,100 potential websites to have 
uh, links from. Now, I can't reach each one of them immediately. It's going to take me time. So I want to look through them in that sequence that I mentioned where I'm looking at the best ones first. A second effect of doing that, by the way, is the second somebody says, yes, thank you, I'll have the, the article or the blog post or the audio or video, whatever you're going to do, you can then refer to that in future. Say, by the way, I'm already published here. Um, so that's nice and simple, very simple. But there is work, of course. Yes, you've got to do some content and so on. So, um, so let me just check the questions to make sure I haven't missed anything. Um, that's the quality links we talked about. Um, does it matter if the website is in the exact niche? No. Uh, so, April, hopefully that answers the question for you. Um, it does need to be niche related, but not in the exact same niche, because really we're talking about sub niches here. And that means uh, that there's a lot more that you can go for because although I put fishing tackle here, let's just put something else. So fishing rods would give me different results, 111 different results. Does that make sense? So if I use multiple keywords over time, I can build up uh, potentially thousands of possible websites that I can um, contact and then either do a blog comment or write a post or whatever it may be. So in terms of numbers, a single search could provide you with months and months of work for you to do, uh, you know, over time and dozens, potentially hundreds of links. You don't need hundreds of links in fairness. A few links with the right keywords would be very beneficial if you get them from good quality sites. So we're going to have a look at that in a moment. But I want to talk about those links because one of the things I know some, at least one person on this call is going to be thinking, yeah, I'll use my main keyword, my money keyword, and I'll use that in all the links and I'll get thousands of links all saying, you know, make money online or whatever it may be. <laughs> and you're just going to spam everybody and Google will know what you're doing. And you know what? It won't work. So when you're doing the links, let's say you're doing a blog post comment, uh, or whether it's an article or whatever it may be, don't use the same keyword every time. In some cases, it may just be your own name. So it could be uh, this article was provided by Eamon. Click on his name to look to check out his website. In others, it could be check out the website at bestfishingrodreviews.com. Mix it up, in other words. If you go for the same keyword over and over, it isn't natural. Google know what you're doing. They're not stupid. You're just going to damage your own chances. What we're trying to do as much as possible is make it look like we're organically building links from sites that like the content we have and like our website. Now, we're being um, you know, proactive about it. We're actually contacting people. But we're trying to make it look as organic a growth as possible. Uh, Alvaro is asking, "Is does this submit the posts for you? No, no, it doesn't. You, you've got to do that yourself. This allows you to find the websites where you can do that and contact them and make a comment or whatever. But it doesn't do the post for you. That bit you've got to do yourself. And it's important to have quality there. I cannot stress that enough because if you're pumping out junk, people with good quality websites are not going to be interested. Uh, and if you start getting a reputation for that, you're just wasting your own time. It is a complete waste of time. A little bit of high quality effort can multiply itself over time. It's definitely worth the effort. OK, so enough of the <laughs> enough of my, me um, lecturing you about that. But please go for quality. April saying it doesn't write the post for you either. No, that's true. So what I want to do now, if I may, show you the tool itself. Before I do, are there any questions about that technique that I've just shown you? Because it's pretty simple, as you can see. You're just doing a search in Google. And we're going to Google because they've got 93% of the market. You could do Bing as well if you want to. But honestly, why bother? You may as well go for the, the biggest sector. And if you've seen the emails, you know that something like 170 million people go to Google.com and do a search every day for information. It's a lot of traffic. Even if you only got a small percent of that, a tiny, tiny fraction of a percent of that would be a lot of traffic to your website. So by doing the things that Google likes, 
you can get some of the stuff that you like, which is traffic. And from traffic, of course, you get the, you know, the other bit that we're all looking for, which is revenue. Without traffic, you're not going to get much revenue. Uh, Frankie, no, it's, it's not, not the same as Contact Scraper. Uh, Mark, how many links would I suggest to start building a small fire for your website? Uh, that's a really good question. Okay. Depends on your niche. If it's super competitive, you might need 40 or 50 or 60. And remember, if they're good quality website um, links, they count a lot more than it sounds like. So 50 or 60 could have the, the oomph, the, the firepower, as it were, of 200. And we've seen that in the past when we've looked at this kind of thing where 20 good links can, can outperform 200 so-so links. Because Google is trying to look at quality for a simple reason. If they can match what you're searching for with content that interests you, they can sell advertising and make money. So they're trying to get the best quality content that they can put in front of search people so that they can make money. Now, if you provide poor quality content, people are not going to stick around. So the better the quality content, the better you maximize your chances. So in terms of how many links would you do for a website, depending on your niche, but assuming it's not something ridiculously super competitive where you know you need a million links to do anything, um, start with half a dozen uh, and then build from there. You might find you only need 10. Uh, I think we've had websites that have ranked on the first page of Google with 10 links. Um, but bear in mind, if you've already got some um, benefits from doing this on a website, if you do more of it, you can start targeting related keywords to extend the reach. Does that make sense to everybody? Because if you look at the extended reach with alternative keywords, you can start building up pockets of extra traffic that can really add up over time. Uh, and if you've got a keyword that's less competitive, but you can get half a dozen links that put you on page one, you might get 200 visitors a month. That doesn't sound many, but two and a half thousand visitors a year, if you optimize your conversion process on your website, could turn into 20 or 30 sales a year. It could be an extra two sales a month. And, and then you stack it with another keyword and do the same. By the time you've got 20 or 30 keywords doing that, you could be looking at six, seven, 800 sales a year, additional to what you get from the, the sort of main keyword. So let me just see if there's any questions. Um, okay. Oh, here's a good question from Philip. If you're making money from the sale of a product that you produce and you don't want to actually pay for Google ads, does that hurt you with getting good ranking with Google? No, no. They're, they're, they're looking for quality to feed people. If they don't feed people good quality content, people aren't coming back to the search engine. So they've got to give them that good quality anyway. And bear in mind, in the search results, they're going to put a ton of adverts anyway. And that gives them an opportunity to get in front of people with the advertising and make some money. But without that content, Google can't make any money. They can't make any money without content from you, me, and everybody else. If they've got nothing to show people, they can't make any money. So they do need that um, content. But they, they also do want it to be quality because... Every time I look at Google, if I get a lousy result, how long am I going to get lousy results before I start looking on a different search engine? So Google do have to feed me quality to keep me coming back so that whether it's today or tomorrow, I'm going to click on an advert somewhere and they're going to make some money. Does that make sense, Philip? Okay, so I'm being told off at not showing the tool. Um, okay, here's the tool. This is not a tutorial on how to use the tool. This is just to show you a quick demo to show you how simple it is. Real simple. So I'm going to put fishing tackle in here. And this suffix thing is what I was talking about earlier, which is the search parameters. So we've got submit link, submit site, sub guest post, article. Uh, submit site, that would be for sort of directories that link to other websites uh, and kind of curate a list of websites. So let's just have a look. If I do the fetch here, this is going to go off to Google, do a bit of a research for me. When it's finished, we'll talk about it. Uh, Murray's asking, do I need to use this if I use Facebook group automator and swipe viral? 
Yeah, it's it's a different kind of uh, linking strategy, Mary. So the more you mix up, the better. Uh, and this is uh, pure Google ranking. This is this kind of linking strategy is for Google itself. So um, so that's finished. We've got a few here, as you can see. All I need to do is click on one of them and then have a look at the details and it will tell me a little bit about it. So it's on the other monitor. Let me drag it over. So what I'm seeing is the trust score. 36 is pretty good. 5,800 referring domains. If I submit something to them, I can make a note to myself, sent article 27, let's say, or, or whatever information you want. So I can make a note to myself so I remember when I sent this to them and what I sent to them, and I can save that. That's all cool, but if I want to see what their page says, which I do need to read, because they may have certain terms and conditions, I just click on this, and it will open up a window. And this is a, a website directory to do with phishing. So you can see that there's all these different um, categories here. So let's have a look. Phishing tackle, so equipment manufacturers, I guess I would say here, yeah. So here we are, it tells me I can add the site or URL here by clicking on that. And what I would get is some information, put in my website here, my name, email, and so on. That's one example. So I'd just work my way down through this list, but I can also sort on the columns. So the ones with the best um, trust factor are at the top. Uh, Pinterest, yeah, you could use that one as well, obviously, but I'm not gonna go into that one. But um, this one has similar to the, oh, it's the same one, different page, that's for Fish and Tackle. Aviva directory, pretty good, trust, good linking. Let's have a look at that one. So if I click on details, and it's opened on the other window again, so I'll just drag it over. So let's have a look at what that one says and what their two uh, terms and conditions are. Okay. Contact us here, let's have a look. Yeah, so again, same thing, I would contact them, send some information and so on, work your way down the list. If you want to save this list because you want to look at it later, it's really very simple. Um, what we do is we go to the file menu and save as, and this will actually save this as a particular CSV file. You can see that the name is your keyword, so you remember what it was about the type of site that you're looking for, and then it saves as a CSV. So that's that saved and done, okay? So can I scale up the size? Okay, let me just see. I, I can't make the font any bigger, it's fine, but I can, hopefully that will let you see a little bit easier. Now, there's something else I want to show you which is extremely powerful, and this is the suffix here, allows you to add a custom suffix as well. OK, so if I uh, choose a suffix, beg your pardon, I'm just getting um, pings on my watch. If I choose a, a custom suffix, I can specify terms that Google haven't e even invented yet. Now, let me just show you what I mean. So this thing here in title that I put in is a way of telling Google I want to narrow the results down to certain types of result that are of benefit to me. Great. But if they come up with a new type of search term, this is where the custom field allows you to uh, put something new. I'm gonna just do a new one, actually. So what you, what you would do is simply put in whatever that new search term might be. It could be right for us, it could be um, send us your video, or, or whatever it might be. You have the future option in here so that even if there are new search terms that become relevant, you will have the ability to use them in the future, okay? Now, the keyword suggestion tool, if you don't know where to start, because you've really no idea, wrong monitor, Hang on, let me pull it over. If you really don't know uh, what keywords to start with, you can start here. So if I put phishing in here and do a suggest, I'm gonna get some keywords. So what I'm seeing here is search volume on plenty of fish, fish tank, fish tacos, no, um, fish market, fish games, fishing near me, 90,000 people a, a, a month. Wow, that's a lot of people. Um, the cost per click here tells you what advertisers pay Google. 
So these figures are a good indication of the health of that kind of market. So fishing near me looks an interesting one. If I want to work on that one, because I, I like the term, I just highlight it, your selected keywords, and you can see it completes it for me, pops it into the search box, and then I just choose the suffix I want, hit fetch, and off we go. So I'm going to take some questions in a moment, but one of the things that happens, and I can see it already, I'm being told off because I'm not showing you how to get this. Let me show you where you go. So just bear with me. So um, I'm actually going to switch back to this. So we've had a look, and I want to show you where you go for this. So you go to backlinksniper.com, and you can get hold of it there right now. Backlinksniper.com. In a moment or two, I will put that into the chat box for you. I'm going to do that now. There we go. So the link is in the chat box. So the, the tool itself, I can't show you the, the license page because it would show my license here. Uh, and help and support, you see there's a video on the support desk here. Um, now it is keyword credit based, so one keyword costs one credit. Now as you've seen on the snapshot I did, I got quite a lot of results. I got about 2,000 just on the, the first time I ran this a couple of times. I think I used three searches, that's three keywords. And I got about 2,100 or something like that. That's a lot of potential links. That's a lot of potential links. So this comes with a 1,000 credits. So that would last you, depending on how hard you work, I mean, I think it's going to last most people a year or two years. Because if you're getting a couple of thousand results on three or four keywords, it's going to take you time to work through them. And of course, you may have multiple niches. So you're going to work through them bit by bit. Uh, and it, it's probably not a bad idea, incidentally, to do, say, the fishing tackle this week and then maybe do some uh, skincare next week if you've got a skincare site, and then come back to the fishing and so on. Don't just absolutely hammer away at the, the same site all the time because you may end up with the links too fast. You want this to look, to look as if it's organic growth so that it looks natural, which means Google won't be... Um, spotting what you're doing. So uh, I said to you about the, the um, custom link. Let me just get the custom link again. That's oh, disappeared because I've got multiple monitors. It's, it keeps disappearing, but never mind. So once you've done that, you come back, circle around, do another search and so on. Uh, does it save the searches? Yeah, if you want to save them, like I showed you, April, you come up to the file menu and do save as. Uh, oh, well, I haven't got any results this time around, but I've already saved some uh, as a um, fishing tackle. That was on. So this particular one, if I open this up in, uh, I'm on a Mac, so it's in numbers. You can see you've got the results here. And if I just make this a bit bigger. So what I'm getting is the linking page, the main website, the trust score, the referring domains, and any notes that I've made for myself. So if I've submitted that, it would show in this column. So I can keep a note of what I've done. And that way, I'm not going to uh, submit the same thing to somebody twice. So let's have a look. Does it save the searches? Yep. OK. Yeah, it is. It, it's pretty cool, April. I think it's pretty cool. So we've taken a look. If you've got any questions, put them in the chat box right now. And I'll come back to those in a moment or two. But before I do, let me just tell you about the launch offer. So the launch offer. It's going to be $97 a year normally, but right now, until midnight Eastern Standard Time, Friday, 31st of January, you can get this for $67 one time. And that comes with a 1,000 credits. Backlinksniper.com is where you'll get this. And then after launch, so as soon as we've hit midnight on Friday, it's going back to $97 a year. So right now, if you want to get hold of this, you go to backlinksniper.com. After purchase, we've got a special one-time offer. And I'll tell you about this one because this is quite a good offer, and I think you will be very interested. Existing Prosperative Gold Pass members get Backlink Sniper for free. If you buy Backlink Sniper today or before the deadline, and you join the Prosperative Gold Pass membership, which will be presented to you after you purchase Backlink Sniper, we'll actually give you the first month of Prosperity free so that the cost of Backlink Sniper, effectively, that's taken off your membership for you because you'll get it free within the Prosperative Gold Pass area. 
So that's a, a one-time offer that you will see after you purchase Backlink Sniper. And then after the first month, you'll go to the normal monthly payment for the Gold Pass membership, and you'll actually lock in and save $30 a month on that membership. The details for that are shown on screen after you purchase Backlink, Backlink Sniper. Now, the launch pricing does end at midnight Eastern Standard Time, so that's New York time, not Mountain, not Central, not Pacific. Um, so wherever you are, you have to be aware that the, the midnight is New York time, Eastern Standard, Friday, January 31st. You've got to act fast because that once that offer's closed, please don't come back and say you've missed it because we've got to say no. They make me tell you no. I get the questions and I have to tell people no. Okay, so just bear in mind that instead of paying $97 a year, what you're going to be paying is $67 one time for the 1,000 credits, but immediately the launch is over, you're going to be paying $97 a year. So at this point, I'm going to take any questions live, so bear with me while I scroll back to see anything that I've missed. Bear in mind, what you're looking at is a way of automating how you get the results with information that allows you to find the results in a sequence that gives you the best um, return on your time. So let me just remind you of what the, the actual price is. So right now at launch, instead of paying $97 a year, you're going to pay $67 one time, and that will give you a 1,000 credits, which should give you many, many, many thousands of potential link partners. You go to backlinksniper.com. There'll be a buy button if you're watching the replay. If you're on the live webinar, the link is in the chat box. As soon as we hit midnight on Friday, January 31st, that's Eastern Standard Time, remember, the price is going back up to $97 a year. So you need to be getting hold of it now while you can. So go to backlinksniper.com. Um, so there will be a special offer made after you purchase Backlink Sniper because anybody who's a Gold Pass member at prosperative.com will get Backlink Sniper for free. So you'll be offered a membership to the Gold Pass level. That's the special offer that you'll see after you purchase Backlink Sniper. If you buy Backlink Sniper today before that deadline, and then you take up that special offer for the Gold Pass membership, we won't charge you for the first month of the Gold Pass membership because you'll have already paid that for your purchase of Backlink Sniper. And then after that, you're going to get hold of Backlink Sniper for free within the members area. You'll also save and lock in a $30 saving on the Gold Pass membership. The Gold Pass membership will include any new tools that we're developing. We've got one uh, coming out in February, and we'll be doing them throughout the year. So there's a whole bunch of them coming. The tools we're going to be concentrating on, just so you know, are traffic, for the obvious reasons, because traffic is what gets you money, ultimately. And we're going to be doing content tools. So those two things together, traffic tools and content tools, are what everybody needs. You need those two things, because without content, nobody's going to come to your site. If you've got content, but nobody's coming anyway, then you need to find the traffic. So having the two things together is the perfect one-two combination. But please remember that the launch pricing will end at midnight on Friday, 31st of January, New York time. So you've got to act pretty fast. Uh, the special saving on the Gold Pass membership as well also expires midnight EST, Friday 31st. Essentially, while we're pausing for questions, I've shown you the technique to do this manually. It's actually really simple, but it's time consuming. I've shown you a tool that automates it for you and gives you the results you need really fast, and then you work through them. I've also recommended that you take this at a sensible pace if you go, you know, if you go too fast into building your links, especially on new sites, Google are going to work out what you're doing. So please don't be tempted to try and get 500 links in, in a week. It's just not realistic. Google knows what you're doing. For the first week, be happy with two or three links. For the second week, do the same again. Third week, maybe look for three or four. You know, at the end of a month or two, you're going to start to see some rankings. You're going to see your rankings climb. Your links will start to take effect. The growth needs to be organic and natural and believable. The temptation is to go at this really fast. I know it's very tempting. I've done it myself in the past and been penalized. Please don't because, honestly, you will be wasting your time. Now, let me just see if I've got some questions. A few people are asking if there will be a replay. Yes, there will. Uh, within the uh, Backlink Sniper 
desktop tool itself. There is the help video which shows you how to use it. Um, there will be a replay of this sent out in the morning, so anybody who's missed the first part of the webinar can watch this again. Okay, Michael saying it's a great product, saves some tons of time. Yep. Uh, Ronald, let me look to see what your question is in full. Oh, this is a brilliant question. Yes, really good question. I, I wanted to mention this earlier. So the question is, should you get backlinks from other sites just to your home page or to related articles on your website? The answer is mix it up. If you only ever have links to one page on your website, how realistic does that look? Because that's like saying every other site on the planet only likes one page on your website. Mix it up. So get some to the home page, get some to inner pages, get some to related relevant articles. Mix it up with the keywords you use for your links. Mix it up with the, the links you get, you know, where they land. Anything that you do over and over too much starts to be a red flag. We're looking for organic, believable behavior. And believable behavior in this case would be you might get three links to one page, 15 to another, seven to a different one. That's just how it works in real life. So if people were linking to you organically, they would not all want to link to the same page. Does that make sense, Ronald? Philip has uh, tested uh, in Spanish for fishing rods and guest posts, and it works on Google. Brilliant. Uh, Mervin. Ah, okay. Yes, that's a good question. Mervin is a regular member at Prosperative. If you get the gold membership, then you cancel your regular membership and you can contact me and I'll help you with that. Patty is asking about the credits. Okay, yeah, so the credits. When you do a keyword search, it will use one credit. The number of results it will bring back depends on the keyword you've chosen. I did three searches, as you saw earlier, and I got something over 2,000 results. So that's a lot of results for three of those. So I've got 333 times that. You know, I got 2,000 results on that one. I might get 500 on the next. I could get 3,000 on another. Over the course of the next year or two, to work through the potential link partners that I can find using that 1,000 credits, I don't think I'd have time to do that many. And by the way, you don't need thousands of links. In many, many cases, you can rank your site on page one with just a handful of links. It could be as low as 10 or 20 or even 30, which means these credits will go a long way. The next question I've got, which is a great one, um, and this is from Ed. Can I use this to help my local clients? Yes, you can, because what you're doing is research, first of all, to find the sites that will be suitable for submitting content to. And the content could be as simple as a, um, a comment on a blog, by the way. So if you see a good blog, if you look for blogs on this, a well-crafted response to an article on a blog post that adds value to the conversation about the content on that blog post is a good quality link back to you. If you just put nice post, everybody knows what you're doing, right? Don't be that guy or, or woman. Please don't do that. If you're going to go put a comment on somebody's blog post, engage with the blog, but read it first. See what they've said. If you agree with them, say why. If you disagree, give your reasons. You know, you could say, well, let's stick with fishing tackle. And I'll give you a concrete example. So if I see a web page that's a blog post and they've got comments turned on and they're talking about a particular fishing rod, I don't know makes, by the way, but let's say it was called a scepter or something i can't think of any names so the scepter 2000 is the one they recommend for chub fishing if my experience or the information i've got as an affiliate is that the scepter 5000 is better i can engage with them and add to the conversation and add quality to their website i can say something like i liked your article but i've been advised that the scepter 5000 is probably better because it has a better um, line strength which is suitable for a more um, you know for the more heavy duty type of fishing you would do with whatever um, have you tried that particular model in your experience is that better or you know in comparing the two would you still stick with the 2000 model if you haven't compared them do you have any plans to do so in the future because i'd be interested in reading an update just stop there for a think a second and think about what i've done there if that were a real blog comment, I've now proven to the website owner I've read their content. I've proven that I'm interested in what they're talking about. 
I've proven that I know a little bit about it myself and I'm having a conversation with them. At this point, they're more likely, if they moderate the comments, to let my comment come through so I get my link. If I just put great post, they know people do that to get a link because it's so easy to do. But people who take the extra couple of minutes to read a post and then put some kind of quality comment back, they stand out a mile. You can see it yourself. When you look at blog posts, you know yourself that well, the comment doesn't add anything to the conversation. So all you have to do is think about quality from the posts to you. You want quality, right? You want a quality website to link to you. Give them quality in return. Uh, OK, so let's have a look. So I've got a few questions that I want to reply to. But before I do, let me just remind you that the launch offer right now, instead of paying $97 a year, you're going to get it for $67 one time with 1,000 credits. You've got to go to backlinksniper.com to buy this. It's in the chat box. If you go there now, you can get hold of this. After the launch, it's going back to $97 a year. Backlinksniper.com. So Kartz is asking what kind of articles, how long, how many words. Uh, some of these would just be blog comments. Some might be articles. Personally, if I were looking at a website and all their articles are 2,000 words long, I wouldn't send them a 300-word article. doesn't make sense. If they only ever publish long articles, I need to do a long article. If I look at a website and all their articles are 300 words, I'm not going to write 5,000 words. What I'm going to try to do is fit in with what they have. Does that make sense for you? Because if I fit in with what they have, it's a natural fit to their website. It doesn't look odd. Does that make sense? Um, how do you work through the results? Right? Well, each of these websites, Murray, would have a different um, scheme for submitting to them. So you actually look at the website read their submission terms. Some will say, write to us here. Some will say, use this link. Uh, some will say, send us uh, a, a proposal for what you want to write about. Some will say, send the final article and so on. Uh, Frank is saying he spends a lot of money buying quality links. Yes, that's a good point. Again, something I meant to mention. Uh, you can buy links, but they're expensive. With this, what you're trading is a little bit of sweat equity for the link. So bear in mind that the quality you provide to these websites will reflect on you in ways beyond the link itself so that you can actually get a reputation um, and, you know, you may even get invitations in the future. Would you be interested in writing another article for us? And then you can uh, link to, you know, another page on your website or if you have multiple websites, you can do that as well. Um, Ronald, is this better than services that create backlinks from their own network of thousands of sites? In a simple answer, yes. And the reason is this. The websites that you're looking at here are very diverse. And because they're very diverse, it's harder to spam them in an automated way. And because it's harder to do that, Google are going to start looking at the links that they give out a little bit more generously. And if your quality of what you submit there is also high, that again helps uh, Google to be generous with you for the reasons that we mentioned already. Google is looking for content to serve up. They've got to have content or they don't exist. So good quality content on a good quality website, that's a double whammy, right? Uh, Jill's saying she wished that the spammers were hearing this. You must get spammers. I do. Is you get stupid little comments on your website. Oh, great post. And they put this ridiculous link. And I just send it to spam, right? So what you do is you go to Backlink Sniper, backlinksniper.com, and you'll be able to get hold of that right now. Please bear in mind that the offer expires midnight EST, Friday 31st of January. So you've got to take action fairly quickly. What I want to do is uh, just take any other questions that you may have before we finish. So let's just scroll through and see if I've missed anything. Uh, Simon and Philip were asking about foreign language um, searches. Philip has tested that in Spanish and it works. Now it is localized, localized to where you are. So if you install this and you're in Germany or France or Italy or Spain or uh, wherever you may be, it will use the local Google search for wherever you are. Now you may have to use the custom link title in your language so that you get the best results, but you're able to do that. And because you've got that custom uh, link title field, that means any future search parameters that become relevant 
you can also use those as well. So that it, it's pretty extendable that way for the future. Uh, it's not cloud-based to install it. You can install it on more than one computer. You can sell your services. Yep, absolutely. Uh, we've got somebody who was already planning to do that who contacted me earlier today just to make sure. Uh, credits, Patty, I was explaining about those. So one keyword search is one credit. Now, how many results you get back depends on the keyword. Um, I used three keyword searches and I got about 2,100 or maybe just a little bit more, which is a lot of potential link sites. Uh, it would take me, honestly, to get through all those 2,000 websites would take me a couple of years, you know. So realistically, um, a thousand credits should last you <laughs> at least a year or two, uh, unless you have an entire team of people doing these things for you, of course. Uh, Ed, yes, you can use it for local clients. Yep, Mike, let me just have a look. Ranking factors, trust flow. Yeah, what you get with uh, Backlink Sniper, you see the, the trust of the domain and the number of referring links. So you get those two, two metrics. Let's have a look, Linda. Um, oh, that's a question. Yes, I'm not sure. Are we planning to have this upgraded to allow searching Google in any country? I don't think we will, Linda. I think it's, it, it needs to be localized to where you are. I think, um, but I, I may be wrong. At the, at the moment, I'm not aware of any plans to do that, but it's possible. But right now, I think it's unlikely, but I could be wrong. So, yeah. Helen, thank you very much for that. <laughs> so, remember, the launch pricing does end at midnight on Friday, January the 31st, including for the special offer on the Prosperity Gold Pass membership. If you're watching the replay, the buy button is just below. If you're, and as you can see, it's a really simple tool to use. There's a help video here which shows you how to work the system, and it only takes about four minutes to watch. Incredibly simple. So thank you very much for joining me, everybody. If you do have any more questions, you can send them through, and we'll be happy to, to do that. Um, if you want to buy extra credits when you've used up the initial 1,000, you can do that from the license page within the system itself. I mean, Leslie, honestly, to use more than 2,000 credits, um, you know, if you needed 2,000 credits, that would be a huge number of uh, sites to contact. And remember, I am recommending that you take this in, in an organic speed. If you go too fast, it can count against you. Uh, Don's got a good question. How low of a trust factor would you use? What I would do, Don, is use the column sorting feature so that the highest trust factor is at the top, and I'd work my way down. Now, as you're doing this, it's going to take a little time. By the time you've done 10 or 20, a couple of weeks might have passed. If you're keeping an eye on your numbers on your website and your visitor numbers and your rankings, which you should be doing really, you'll see if you're getting any benefits. Now, if you're starting to rise up the ranks, uh, you might want to continue building a few of the, the lower trust factors. And honestly, even if you go down to, you know, like ones and twos, there's, there's still some benefit there because, well, two reasons. Let me give you the two reasons. Number one, it's not really credible that you would only ever get links from a 90 trust factor site, is it really? You know, if you've got good content, you're going to get some low end sites who will link to you as well. So mix it up is what I said before. The second reason is that a, a, a factor of, let's say, 10, which is low. That may be today, but six months from now, that website, which has that link to you, may have gained a trust factor of 20 or 30. We don't know where they're going next. So by doing that, you get those two benefits. You see, one is that it looks realistic and, and believable. And the second is that it can build over time as well. And the benefit of that is sort of like a trickle effect so that, you know, you, you keep seeing your rankings um, improving because of that. And it, it's that sort of trickle effect that becomes a snowball effect. So this is why I keep saying, please don't try and go, you know, get a thousand links in a week because it's just, it, no, don't. If, if you do that, you're just going to ruin your website. Be sensible, be steady, be stable. You know, you're building and, and you've got to keep building. You want the foundations to be really solid. So you, you've got to take a little bit of time to do that. Hopefully that will answer the question for you. Any others? So remember, please, if, if you're going to take action, you're going to take action right now because that deal and the special offer on the one-time offer that you'll see after purchase, that also goes away at midnight on Friday. So thank you very much again, and I appreciate uh, everybody's time and also apologize for going a little bit over.
Thanks very much. See you next time. Bye now.